Today we have with us one of the very earliest surahs ever revealed to the Prophet In fact, the scholars of Tafsir, they say, uh, as recorded in Al-Qurtubi and other Tafsirs, the very first surah to be revealed was Surah Alaq. Then the very next surah to be revealed, the second surah to be revealed, was Surah Muzammil. As you know, the Prophet uh, had revelation from Jibreel Alayhi After many, many months, some say six, some say eight months of being in the cave of Hira, the Prophet had revelation come down to him. He was not expecting it. He was simply looking at the stars and gazing at the moon and thinking about why Allah created him and what his purpose of his life was. And suddenly this angel came and said, read in the, in the name of Allah Azawajal. And then he ran down, leaving all his provisions, leaving all his clothes and every other food and every other item behind. He became Hira. He ran down, coming to his wife Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha and said, Zambiluni, Zambiluni, cover me up, cover me up. Why? Because indeed, I think I'm becoming mad. I've seen something which is very frightening. And he told her the story. At that point, the Prophet ﷺ always used to love to cover himself up. We don't know whether that was the very point at which the surah was revealed. But what we do know is that very soon afterwards, the Prophet ﷺ kept on covering himself and wrapping himself up in this garment. Because he always thought that something was going to come up from him. Because the way Jibreel came was from on top came down from the sky, came down and then hugged him. So he thought something would come down from the top. What he used to do is to cover himself up in a garment and wrap himself up and she would shiver almost in fear. So it was in this situation that this surah was revealed. The Akwati, the message of this surah is all about the Hajjit prayer. It's all about strengthening your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if the surah is all about the Hajjit prayer, if the very second surah was revealed to Rasulullah system was all about the Hajjid prayer. Imagine how important the Hajjid is to reconnect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Ikhwani, the Prophet وسلم, said in more than 70 authentic hadith, until Ibn Hajjid rahimullah said this is mutawatir, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes down to the last third, in the last third of the night, he comes down to the last heavens. And he says, who is there that is asking from me so that I may give him? Who is there that is asking for my repentance so I may, I may give that to him? Ya Ikhwani, can you imagine how close Allah comes down? You have Allah's full attention because you know only a very few handful are making dua to Allah at the depth of the night. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, it's the prime opportunity to connect with Allah Azawajal, to ask Allah what you want, to beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for mercy, to ask Allah to forgive you on the day of judgment, to give you respite from the gate of the punishment of the grave. Anything you want from Allah, ask in your tahajjud prayer. For 13 years, Allah revealed the first 19 verses, and then He revealed the final verse of Surah Muzammil, who was the end of His revelation, uh, and that was in Medina. Just to show you how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept obligating tahajjud prayer upon the Muslimi. Because in the last verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes tahajjud prayer not obligatory. In the first few verses, he makes it obligatory on everyone. But in the last verse, he removes the obligation. So let's see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did this uh, and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made Hajjid prayer so beloved to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most merciful to all human beings and all creation, the Ar Rahim, the one who was specifically believed and merciful to the believers only. Ya ayyuhal muzzammil. Oh, the one who is wrapped up in a garment. What the scholars mention is that the Prophet used to cover his garment, which is his robe, or he used to cover using his, his, uh, his mattress or the cover of the mattress, he used to cover until he used to put it all around his face as well. So Allah says, Ya ayyuhal muzzammil, oh, the one covered up in garments. So this is an expression of love by how he was, the state he was, which is, oh, the one who is beautifully wrapped up in a garment. Straight into action. Stand up, O Muhammad وسلم, all of the night, illa except for a little bit. The scholars understood this to mean that the Prophet وسلم, was asked to pray all of the night. Illa means except for the Isha prayer. 
meaning between Maghrib to Isha is that time of the night. It means pray all the night after Isha, stand up the night, do not stop until the Fajr Adhan comes. Why does Allah want you to pray so much? The only answer I come up with is Allah must love the Salah so much. When the Prophet went up to the seven heavens and he had Isra al Miraj, correct? How many Salah did Allah ask him to do first? 50. I mean, was Allah joking with him? Was it a joke? Imagine if Musa did not meet Rasulullah, the Prophet came back. 50 prayers. Ya Habibi, Allah didn't create you to be an engineer or a doctor or a lawyer or IT specialist or mechatronics. He was only meant as a tool. Stop make, be making this the goal of your life. Stop making this the only reason why you're here. This is only a means and a tool, nothing else. Your whole purpose was to worship Allah. That was it. Then Allah brought it down. This fahu, half of it then. Awun kusmin hu qalila, or little less than half, two, one third of the night. Awzid alayhi. Then Allah goes back again. Or increase upon it. Meaning Allah loves it so much, He's telling him back. Awzid alayhi, or increase upon it. Wa rattili al-Qur'an tartila. And recite the Qur'an in a beautiful recitation. Means to recite the Qur'an, giving every single harf of the Qur'an its due haq. Verily, I am going to put upon you a heavy statement. The scholars of the Fsi said this is true physically as well as metaphorically. Metaphorically, the knowledge of Islam is very heavy. The responsibility of the messengership is very heavy. But physically, it's very heavy as well. In fact, it is authentically reported that Prophet ﷺ once was sitting down with uh, Abu Bakr who was sitting next to him. And the Prophet Sallallahu leg was on top of Abu Bakr's uh, leg as well. And Jibreel والسلام, came down on Rasulullah Sallallahu and hugged him and gave him the, the Qur'an, whatever verse of Qur'an was being revealed at that time. And Abu Bakr said, Wallahi, I felt as if my leg was about to break. Because nothing is heavier than the words of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. <laughs> that Allah tells him why he should pray at night. Verily, the activities of the night or the actions or ibadah that are done at night, it is more firm for your heart. And more stronger in statement. Meaning, more stronger in witness for you on the day of judgment. So the acts of ibadah that you do at the depths of the night are more beautiful, more stronger for you, for your iman, and more weightier on your witness on the day of judgment. Ikhwani, this is a very important question to you all. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah, he said, it is obligatory on every single Muslim to have a wird between him and Allah for every single day. A wird in Arabic means a special deed that is secret between him and Allah only every day. By doing those deeds that are done at the depths of night when no one can see. And then Allah says, in the morning, on the other hand, whilst the night is so better for you, but in the morning, in the lack of in the in the morning for you, subhan tawila. Subhan means too many activities. Tawila, long activities, meaning long distractions. Wadkurisma Rabbika. So finally Allah says, So remember the name of your Lord. Meaning, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. وَذْكُرِ اسْمَ رَبِّكَ Remember the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَتَبَتَّلْ إِلَيْهِ تَبْتِيلًا And come back to Allah with the beautiful coming. Our Lord is waiting for us to turn to Him. And He is saying, come back to me, O my slave, with a beautiful coming. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, رَبُّ الْمَشْرِقِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ The Lord of the East and the West. La ilaha illahu. There is no deity worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fattakhidhu wakila. Take him as your wakil. Meaning the main reason, ya akhwan, after your iman increasing, the main benefit why we should pray tahajjud is so that we can grow in tawakkul of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wasbir ala ma yaqulun. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala moves into the benefit of after having perfected the tawakkul and strengthened the tahajjud, 
is to prepare yourself for the onslaught of what you're going to face outside. So Allah says, Wasbir, have patience with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about what they say. Wahjurhum hajran jamila. Meaning leave them in a beautiful way. Hajr means to dissociate and to leave. Wadharni and leave me with who? And those who lie. Wadharni wal mukaddibina ulim ni'mati. Meaning the possessors of blessings. Those who have a lot of blessings that I have given them. Wamahilhum qalila. And give them respite for a little while until the appointed time, which is their death. Inna ladayna. Verily with us is ankala. The people who are mukaddibin and those who are sinful sinners. Inna ladayna ankala wa jahima. Wa ta'aman dha ghussa. And food which is the ghussa. What is ghussa? That food which is very difficult to swallow. The, the food that gets stuck in your throat. وَعَذَابًا أَلِيمًا يَوْمَ تَرْجُفُ الْأَرْضُ When the earth will shake. وَالْجِبَالُ When the mountains will shake. وَكَانَتِ الْجِبَالُ كَثِيبًا مَهِيلًا And because of that shaking, the mountains will become like dust. إِنَّا أَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْكُمْ Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the Quraysh and reminds them that this messenger that you are disbelieving in and all people who disbelieve out there is no different from the messenger that was also sent to Firaun. So Firaun disbelieved and you know what happened to him. So if you disbelieve, then guess what's going to happen to you? Inna arsalna ilaykum rasula. Verily we have sent you, O Quraysh, O people of this world, we have sent you a messenger. Shahidan alaykum, meaning the Prophet ﷺ will be a witness against us on the day of judgment. Kama arsalna ila Firaun rasula. Just like we sent Firaun a messenger as well. What is the difference between a messenger and a prophet? The difference between a messenger and a prophet is that a messenger was disobeyed. A prophet was never disobeyed. A prophet was sent to a people and the people believed in him. But a messenger is a messenger because he was disbelieved. فَعَصَى فِرْعَوْنُ الرَّسُولَ So Firaun decided to disbelieve in the messenger. فَأَخَذْنَاهُ أَخْذًا وَبِيلًا So we took him Meaning, with a grip, فَكَيْفَ تَتَّقُونَ Look at the power of this verse. So how will you save yourselves? إِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ If you were to disbelieve. يَوْمًا On that day, يَجْعَلُ الْوِلْدَانَ شِيبًا The day which will make the hair of a child turn white. السَّمَاءُ مُنْفَطِرُمْ بِهِ The sky has been laden and holed up with it. Meaning what? With the angels. Praising Allah, Munfati Rubbi, Kana Wa'aduhu Mafula. His promise will definitely be fulfilled. In Hadi Tathira. This is nothing but a reminder. Faman Sha Attahada Ila Rabbihi Sabila. Then whoever wills to believe in this message, then let him take a path towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Finally, Akhwani, we come to the longest verse. And the last verse of this of this surah, verse number 20, which was revealed in Medina. Inna Rabbaka Ya'lamu. Verily your Lord knows. Annaka taqumu adna min That you stand up a little less than a third of the night, meaning half of the night. Wa thulutahu and a third of it. Wa ta'ifatun min al ma'ak. And a group of the people from amongst you. He knows that you're already doing this. وَاللَّهُ يُقَدِّرُ لَيْلَ وَالنَّهَارُ And Allah is the one who lengthened the day and the night. If you stand up more than half of the night, don't think you're so great. Imagine those places where the night is longer. 16 hours, 20 hour nights. Because it is Allah who makes the night longer or shorter. عَلِمَ أَلَّمْ تُحْسُوهُ He knows that you will not be able to encompass the full night every single day of your life. أَلَّمْ تُحْسُوهُ فَتَابَ عَلَيْكُمْ So he forgave you. Ikhwani, us not praying tahajjud is Allah forgiving us. فَقَرَأُوا مَا تَيَسَّرَ مِنَ Quran. So recite whatever you can from the Qur'an. عَلِمَ أَنْ سَيَكُونُ مِنْكُمْ مَرْضَى He knows there will be sick people amongst you. مَرْضَى meaning sick. وَآخَرُونَ And others. يَضْرِبُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ They will be traveling in the land. يَبْتَغُونَ مِنْ فَضْلِ اللَّهِ Seeking the fadl or the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning? Wealth and provision and business. 
يقاتلون في سبيل الله and others who are fighting in the cause of Allah so they'll be weak and tired unable to pray at night فَقَرَأُوا مَا تَيَسَّرَ مِنْ so recite whatever you can from the Quran وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ and establish the prayer أَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ means establish the places of prayer أَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ means establish the time of prayer أَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ means teach people how to pray وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ and establish the prayer وَآتُ الزَّكَاةِ and give the zakat why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention إِقَامُتُ الصَّلَاةِ and إِتَاءَ الزَّكَاةِ prayer strengthens the relationship with Allah whereas charity establishes a relationship with creation وَأَقْرِضُ اللَّهَ قَرْضًا حَسَنًا and give Allah a beautiful loan be of those people who give most of your wealth away in charity وَمَا تُقَدِّمُوا لِأَنفُسِكُمْ and whatever you give for, the, for, for yourselves from goodness تَجِدُوهُ عِنَّ اللَّهِ you will find it with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala هُوَ خَيْرًا that is better for you وَأَعْضَمَ أَجْرًا and that is more rewarding and more profitable for you وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ and seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meaning after you've done all this and you repented and you've given salah and you've given zakat after all of this repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ رَمْهُ Allah is most forgiving, most merciful.